right in the middle. This is a African cherry. It's known as bubinga. And this is maple over here. So laminates are much stronger than one piece. So we use laminates quite a bit. And this is sawn uh, out. And after it's sawn out, this part of the instrument, you can see that, is where it attaches to the body. This is done, cut out. Okay. The fingerboard is glued on. That's the part here where we were talking about before where the frets go. Then if you look closely, I don't know if you could see it or not, but there's little lines drawn on here, and that's where the inlays would go as the inlays, these mother of pearl uh, inlays in this one. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, these are not mother of pearl inlays. These are snail shell, so it's a little bit different, but it's uh, similar. What? is mother of pearl we have some of this stuff is this a good time to show some of this right now yeah uh, all right suppose i do that i'll point if i can get the camera to come in to uh some what i think is mother of pearl is it correct that i'm putting up here those are called abalone uh they come from an abalone shell almost all uh essence of pearl whether it be abalone snail shell mm -hmm. uh, various other uh, types of shells come from sea creatures usually uh, a shelf form of some sort. Mm -hmm. um, there are people who use uh, jade for inlays and, and uh, the gems, various types of stone, but most of them are w Would this shelf. be uh, considered a mother of pearl, though, right here? This uh, piece? Actually, the mother of pearl is the inner part of the shell. You ever go walk on the beach and you, you find a shell and it's uh, shiny on the inside, that's the mother of pearl. That's what it's I called. I found a lot of things on the beach, I'll tell you. That. That's another story, though. But anyhow, this is what you insert into the section that you just showed us. Is yes. That now, you can see those correct? little clovers. These? Yeah. Uh-huh. And What are those? Those are snail shells. And here we have another guitar. This is a solid body guitar. And these are inlaid into the fingerboard. The same little pieces, I sawed them out of... Uh, you made the, the yeah. design of these shells right here? You, right. you cut them out? Cut them out and uh, inlay them into the fingerboard. And this fingerboard is ebony. And we were talking before about laminates. You've got more patients than my family doctor, really. To do well, it, like it takes a lot of time, it does. It's a I slow can. process. Uh, that's one problem about making custom-made instruments. Uh, I only make maybe 8 to 12 a year. Wow. Once in a while, 14 instruments a year. That's kind of rare. Mm. But most of the time, it's between 8 and 12. And most of them are fancy, as we'll get into see uh, mm -hmm. later and why it's so hard to do all these things. Now, for mass production, you could probably, some factories are making uh, 200 a day. Wow. Should we talk a little bit, since we have the camera up close, about what I have on my desk? Yes. Uh, this, I assume, is, uh, these are made of wood, except for this 